Hello and welcome to Civil Talks. Today our tutorial is flow duration curve. So in this tutorial we are going to study how to calculate and draw the flow duration curve. So you can see here in the, on the screen there is a question saying that the long term monthly flow of a small stream is shown in table below. We can see here a table in one row we can see month from January to December and on the second row we have a discharge Q in meter Q per second and as the discharge according to the month in respective ways and the question is asking to calculate the flow duration curve so now let's get started how to calculate the flow duration curve first of all we have to draw a table for it table in column 1 we have to write month in second column we have to write discharge which is given in meter cube per second whatever be the unit liter per second meter cube per second you have to write accordingly then the third column is we have to write discharge in dis descending order descending order whatever be the discharge given we have to arrange them in descending order then we have to write rank which is denoted by small n then frequency frequency yeah okay frequency then we have to write probability of accidents uh, accidents frequency is denoted by capital F and probability of accidents is 1 by f you can see here okay let's draw the line yeah. this is the i have drawn the line so now let's rewrite the month and the distance given in the question january you can see here january february March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and lastly here comes the December. I am so sorry for the lines in the table. Now, <clears throat> okay, this is the table we have. Now fill up the discharge column, same as in the question given. We have the discharge of January 0 0.36, followed by February 0 0.38, 0 0.40 meter cube per second, 0 0.50, 0 0.76, 1.67, 2.5. 2.59 since it is a very small stream so the discharge is not uh, significantly higher 0 0.45 0 0.94 0 0.56 0 0.43 okay so the third column of the table is asking us to arrange the discharge in descending order so let's do it okay Descending order means from greater value uh, to smaller one. Okay, the greater value is 2.59. We have here 
zero point four, zero point three eight, and lastly we have zero point also three eight. We have two zero point three eight, zero point three six. Sorry, zero point three six. We have zero point three six. Now let us give the rank from one to twelve. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. After that, we have to find the frequency. Now, so how to find the frequency? First of all, we have the total number of n equals to twelve. Look, n equals to twelve, and the frequency is given by capital N upon small n. Okay, this is the formula we have. So, where n is equal to twelve, let's see what is the frequency of January. Twelve upon one gives the value twelve. Twelve upon two gives the value six. That means twelve upon three gives the value. Four. Likewise, four by twelve gives three. You can calculate on your own: two point four, two point zero, one point seven one, one point five zero, one point three three, one point two zero, one point zero nine, and lastly we have one. Okay. After that, we have to find the probability of accidents. Probability one by f in we have to find in percentage that means hundred we have to take. Okay, that means one by twelve into hundred gives the value of eight point three three. Okay, one by six into hundred gives sixteen point six seven. One Upon frequency into hundred, one by four into hundred gives twenty-five. Likewise, you can calculate. You can pause the video. In probability accidents, we just divided hundred by the frequency of the respective month. Forty-one point six seven, fifty, fifty-eight point three three. Sixty-six point six seven, seventy-five point zero, eighty-three point three three, ninety-one point six seven, maybe and yeah, and a hundred. Lastly, the percentage of probability accidents, sorry, probability of accidents, uh, comes hundred. Okay, this is. The calculation of flow duration curve. Calculation for the flow duration curve. Now we have to draw a flow duration curve. So let's draw a flow duration curve just below the paper. I think you are all very clear on this table. First of all, we have to arrange on the first column month, then the distance as so given from the question, and then. We have to arrange the given discharge in descending order. Then we have to give the uh, discharge with the respective rank from one to twelve, and then we have to find out the frequency, which is which can be got from the way the total number of uh, rank is twelve, and twelve upon the respective uh, rank twelve upon one twelve, twelve upon two six twelve by three four twelve by four three, and now, and then. The last column deals with the percentage of probability accidents, which can be got from one by f into hundred, where f stands for the frequency we have already got here for the respective months. Now let's draw the flow duration curve according to the table. Okay, I'm sorry for the crease on the paper. So what is flow duration curve? Flow duration curve has Discharge on y-axis, where q 
q meter q per second is the discharge on y-axis and percentage of probability percentage probability accidents probability of accidents on x axis as you can see here okay percentage of probability accidents no okay for example if it's 20 40 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 I'm so sorry this graph is not on a scale in your examination or for any other purposes you can use the scale graph you can draw it now let's uh, okay 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 and 3 on y axis okay this is x axis this is y axis this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 so on the first uh, you can see here 8.33 we have the discharge of 2.59 let's say this is 8.33 we have the discharge of 2.59 let's zoom this is here okay and 16.67 you can see here 16.67 we have the discharge 2.49 16.67 let's assume here we have the discharge of 2.49 which is approximately equals to near value of 2.5 see here and for uh, 25 we have the discharge of 1.67 1 point okay let's zoom it here 1.67 for 33.33 we have the discharge of 1.49 let's see here for 41.67 we have the distance of 0 0.94 here uh, you can see it on the screen as well for 58.33 this 58.33 we have the distance of 0 0.56 0 0.56 yeah 66.67 we have the distance of 0 0.5 for 75 we have the distance of for 75 we have the discharge of 0 0.43 75 we have the discharge of 0 0.43 for 83.33 we have the discharge of 0 0.4 for 91.67 we have the discharge of 0 0.38 and lastly for 100 we have the discharge of 0 0.36 now let's draw a smooth curve uh, from the uh, on the screen you can see here let's join this the smooth curve make your hand very light while drawing do not make a sharp curve since sharp curve does not dip, uh, represent the flow duration curve okay yeah and lastly join this graph also so this is the flow duration curve you can write here flow duration curve now sometimes question will ask find the value of q40 q45 so after drawing the flow duration curve if the question is asking you to find out what is q40 then first of all you have to draw from 40 a perpendicular line which intersects the flow duration curve and then a line parallel to the x-axis that intercept on the y-axis and here we can see when a perpendicular line 
drawn from the percentage 40 and intersects on the floor duration curve somewhere at any point and again a line parallel to the x-axis is drawn from the point of intercept of that perpendicular line and the flow duration curve it will eventually intersect on the discharge uh, axis which gives the certain value of the discharge here as we can see this is 1 meter cube per second that means the question asking for q40 is 1 meter cube per second yeah hope you guys enjoy this video uh, there are lots more tutorial on hydropower engineering coming out really soon please subscribe my channel thank you for watching